Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XLM. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XLM and once again, this is the one day chart. We're sitting here just above 11 cents and XLM dipped with XRP and the rest of the market. And you know, the price of XLM right now is so undervalued compared to where it's going. And you know, people could FUD on these cryptocurrencies. They could save their dead coins all they want. I know what's coming next. If you buy XLM at this price right now and you really pack a nice bag of it, you can easily get financial freedom from a cryptocurrency like XLM. Trillions will flow through crypto like Stellar XLM. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. And if you don't like it, ignore or unfollow. I thought that was great because some people realize that trillions of dollars are going to flow onto these networks and when that happens it's going to push the price of these cryptocurrencies at the same time and it's going to start with this right here no need to stress stellar is seriously awesome when it comes to tokenization it's one of the reasons why fti global has decided to build there and utilize the blockchain network for transaction activity. Tokenization opens up a whole new world of possibilities and opportunities. Stellar's powerful features will continue to attract big players like Franklin Templeton and MoneyGram. And people even downplayed that Franklin Templeton using Stellar to tokenize assets. They said, oh, that's not a big deal. Well, then why is the CTO, David Schwartz, over there at Ripple promoting the XRP ledger to Franklin Templeton? Because he knows there's a lot of value there. And their CEO said that Bitcoin is the greatest distraction from one of the greatest disruptions in financial services. You know why? Because everybody's so focused on these Bitcoin ETFs right now. What they don't realize is these ETFs are going to become tokenized. And when they do, Franklin Templeton is going to tokenize their Bitcoin ETFs on Stellar. And the price of XLM is going to start to take off. Wait and see. That's what's about to happen. Exciting times ahead for XLM. Stellar's utility token is about to undergo a transformative journey in 2024 with Soroband smart contracts debut. Mark your calendars. January 30th is the vote for phase zero on mainnet. Once Soroband goes live, that's going to be absolutely game changing for Stellar. We're going to see project after project onboarding to this network. You're going to be getting daily announcements around Stellar and XLM once again. It's going to be a very exciting time. 2024 is going to be huge for XLM. Take a listen to this. Danelle Dixon talking about stablecoin legislation. Well, and the industry is suffering as a result of the bad actors, and that's the big challenge. If from a regulatory standpoint, there's really, I mean, I'd love to see stablecoin legislation in the United States. Some of us have been working really hard to make that happen. I hope it does in the, this first quarter. If it doesn't happen by the first quarter, it's not going to happen this year. Um, and uh, because of the election, uh, we've seen great legislation in Europe that have like tried to address some of these issues. But the truth is, even that, it's so much focused on the tech stack instead of focused on outcomes. And that the, the harm in the, and the, the potentially harmful outcomes are what regulators are supposed to focus on. And that's a good thing. That's the consumer protection angle. Those are the things that we want regulators and to, to do for, uh, for, the, um, for consumers and for customers, businesses, and, and everyone out there. That's not what we're seeing right now. And that's the challenge. I think so much of it is fear-based. And so much of it is because of the fact that we had these bad actors. But let's just be honest, it was already happening before the bad actors came out and we knew who they were. Um, I think that there wasn't that engagement. And I think it was because of this, the, the, the fact that it was this technology that was scary. It's this technology that was potentially a threat when, in fact, it's not. And it's an enhancement. It's, a, it's something that works with traditional.
Exactly. The traditional banks see something like XLM and Stellar as a threat, the same way they see Ripple and XRP as a threat. And the reason that she's pushing for stablecoin legislation in the United States is stablecoin legislation will lead to a CBDC. You got to remember the Ukraine CBDC is being built on Stellar and I think that they're, the US is trialing and you know testing out CBDCs in Ukraine as well and that's what they're pushing for here right now is a digital dollar inside the United States. But what about Donald Trump? He said that he will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. Take a listen. And tonight, I'm also making another promise to protect Americans from government tyranny. As your president, I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. You know about that? Now, everybody right away in the crypto space would say, well, that's it. XLM is never going to go anywhere. It's never going to make anyone rich. The same way they say the same thing about XRP right now. But one thing that they don't know is that XLM works with fiat. So even if the U.S. was to never create a CBDC, us as XLM investors, we're still going to get rich. Stellar Ramps is a new way to access the on and off ramps of the Stellar Network, a blockchain platform for moving and storing money with one integration. You can connect your app to a global network of anchors that offer fiat to digital services. So say for instance, other countries have digital money. Now this is just my thinking and I'm speculating here. So say the US continues to use fiat, but other countries outside the US decide to go with a CBDC. Through XLM, you could start as fiat on the US end Go through XLM and come out on the other end as that country's central bank digital currency. That's why I always said, no matter how you look at this, it all roads lead to us as XLM investors getting rich in the future. And anybody that fuds around that, let them fud around it because you want to get that financial freedom. Ignore the fud. January 19, 2023, Stellar joined CFTC Advisory Group. January 16, 2024, Ripple shares the stage with the CFTC Commissioner at Davos. You know, when they're working with the CFTC, and I still think that most of the power is going to end up in the hands of the CFTC when it comes to crypto regulations. It shows you that these are the tro chosen networks and the chosen cryptocurrencies of the future. He's giving us a hint, and you see Elon Musk with the Stellar logo there. But people are speculating around this. And a lot of people are talking about this on a daily basis. The same way they're talking about this. XLM, ETF for sure. Let me tell you, we don't need an ETF for XLM at all. It doesn't even make sense for it. Because XLM is backed by a ton of utility. And that utility is going to drive the price of this cryptocurrency. Look at all the payment rails that have been put in place ever since way back in 2020. You know, XLM was out there creating on-off ramps all around the world. And look at how massive they got with MoneyGram as well. That's the rails that XLM is going to run on. That's what's going to make you rich. We don't need an ETF. Breaking, Uphold Inc. will delist these crypto assets in Canada from their platform. And take notice, these are mostly ISO cryptocurrencies. You see XDC, you see Casper, HBAR, XLM, ADA. I honestly think Canada just wants to keep their citizens poor at this point. But you could still buy XLM at MaxC. I have an affiliate link in the comments section down below. 
And you know, you should stack as much of this as you possibly can and get it off the exchanges because you can't trust the exchanges 100% either. Store it on a cold storage wallet instead. World Reserve Currencies in the Making. Stablecoins, XRP, XLM. And let me go back, because when Danelle Dixon was talking about stablecoins, she was not talking about XLM. She's talking about USDC, which a lot of people even think that USDC is already the digital dollar that they're waiting to roll out here in the United States through Fed now. But I don't think so. I think the Treasury is going to announce a CBDC here in the United States. But again, they don't even need to be reserve, world reserve currencies either. XLM is going to work as a world's bridge currency in the same way that XRP is going to work as a world's bridge currency. And that's why I said, you know, I'm going to continue buying XLM because how can you resist these prices? And we're about to get very big news all throughout the rest of this year. So many projects are going to onboard to this network. And if you're buying at this price, you're going to see the price of XLM rise as we start to gain momentum for this cr cryptocurrency again. And tokenization is also going to boom this year. And Stellar is built for tokenization. Wait until all that value starts to pour onto this network. It's definitely going to push the price of XLM. What I'm telling you is prepare now for the price movement that's going to happen throughout this year. And people are still going to tell you, you have until 2025 to get invested. You need to ignore that. 2024 is going to be a big year for crypto. But until it all happens, you got to stay patient and stay positive. Let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.